This session is on the management of the River Severn Basin. Now notice spelling of the word Severn. Um, it's not like the number seven. This one has an R in it. OK, so as part of the syllabus, we've got to look at how human activity, including management, works in combination with geomorphic processes to impact the landscape. Human activity is what people are doing. Management and different ways of looking after the river. So we might be stopping flooding. We might be ensuring there's enough water um, for people's usage. Geomorphic processes are just natural processes taking place like erosion or weathering or transport. And impacting the landscape is just how is it affecting the surroundings. The River Severn Basin um, is huge. It's the longest river in Britain and it covers an area of 21,500 kilometres square. The, ri the river basin is just the area of land that is drained by a river and its tributaries. So the whole of this area shown on the map is the River Severn's basin. Now its source is over here in the Plinlimon Hills and then it runs down to the Bristol Channel which is here. But it takes in water from the whole of this area. Now, within this area, 32,600 people are at high risk of flooding. Meanwhile, we've got 67,400 people who are at medium risk of being affected by floods. And we've got a further 260,000 people who are at risk from flooding from reservoirs. Now, let's move on and see how human activity can impact this landscape. Well, the first way is urbanisation. This is building houses, building buildings. Um, it's the expansion of built up areas. Now, if we build on the floodplain right next to the River Severn, it means we're building impermeable surfaces, waterproof surfaces like tarmac and concrete that don't let rain infiltrate through them. This means that rainwater will run over the surface of the ground quickly to get to the river. If water reaches a river in a short amount of time, um, we're likely to get flooding. In 2020, there were severe floods in Shrewsbury and many roads were knee deep in water, which prevents people getting to work in the shops, damaging the economy. So that's our first one, urbanization. Another way in which human activity can impact the landscape is by building flood defences. Um, to the left here, you can see these demountable flood barriers. And um, you can change the height of them. So these are aluminium panels going across. And imagine that the floodwaters were going to go even higher. We could add more aluminium panels in. The ones you can see were done in both Shrewsbury and Bewdley. They cost about 11 million pounds. And what they're doing is giving the river the chance to hold more water within its channel um, so that flooding doesn't take place. Here, there's a picture showing the flood barriers um, beside the River Severn at Bewdley. Um, how's it impacting the landscape having these barriers in place? Well, it's stopping flooding, it's stopping damage to property and shops, it's enabling people to get to work and school, and it's holding the water within the river channel rather than letting it burst its banks. A final one we're going to look at is just land use zoning. And this is where you put um, activities next to the rivers that you don't mind flooding taking place. So if we have golf courses or rugby pitches or other sports activities next to the river, it wouldn't be the end of the world if one weekend they became flooded like this example here and it wasn't a, and people weren't able to use them. Meanwhile, houses are built further away from the river, reducing the impact of the flooding on people. Their property doesn't get damaged. Now, the picture to the left is actually the Lydney Rugby Club in, Club in Gloucestershire, and it's following the River Seven floods in February 2020. Um, people's property is not being damaged, even though they can't play rugby um, that one weekend. 
So a quick summary of what we've looked at. The human activity is urbanization, the effects on the geomorphic processes, well, as it increases runoff, it shortens the lag time, there's more water in the river channel, and what's the impact on the landscape? Floods are likely, there's going to be more erosion, there's going to be damage to property. If we put in flood defences, the effect on geomorphic processes are there's less likelihood of floods and there's going to be less erosion taking place. The impact on the landscape, well, it protects people's property. However, if you keep all the water within the river channel at a certain place, all of that extra water is going to move downstream and may cause worse floods elsewhere. Finally, we have land use zoning. Um, this is where we've chosen land uses next to the river where we don't mind flooding taking place. And what's the impact on the landscape? Well, it it's flooding areas of uh, little damage um, to property um, and we don't mind one weekend if we can't do rugby and that sort of thing.